Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing part two of cleaning up the kitchen cupboards. So part one I cleaned up the food storage cupboard and part two I'm just cleaning out our storage cupboards and if I've got time I'll do this part of the kitchen as well. So wish me luck! <laughs> So basically this is what we have in our kitchen cupboards. I'll take you around and show you it in a minute but I thought I would show you what I'm going to use to clean the cupboards. I did this in part one as well. So basically I use a all natural soap called Castella soap. It's got like coconut oil in it and sunflower oil and it's really good for cleaning things. I've discovered in since giving up sugar that bleach and things are not good for us. It's chemical and that isn't good for our bodies. So I'm trying to use as natural as possible now. And basically I use one part Castella soap, the rest is filtered water, and then I use about 20 drops of tea tree oil just to make it smell nice. And tea tree oil is also a really good disinfectant as well. So that's what I'm gonna to use to clean the kitchen cupboards. Right, so basically, minus the bananas and the fruit, this is all of the things I've been keeping in those kitchen cupboards for a while. And now, over here as well, I'm going to give it a little tidy up, get rid of some of the glass jars, and I may even have to buy, I don't think I showed you this cupboard, but at the weekend I found these baskets from Poundland. It's an idea I got from Emily Norris. So thank you, Emily Norris, if you ever watch this. Um, I got these for the tea and the coffee, because basically they were all over the shelves and stuff. And my, tea, my herbal teas were all at the bottom of our food cupboard and I could never find them. So I think I'm gonna have to buy some more baskets this week. 
and put things like those and these in baskets. And I'm just going to have a massive tidy up now. So wish me luck. So I've done the cupboards round by the oven and I'm going to now tackle the cupboards underneath the hob and underneath the kettle. Okay? cupboard so this is where I keep all my Tupperware boxes but it's become a complete mess recently so I'm just going to give it a tidy out now So the kitchen is now done, so I will take you around and show you my new kitchen. This is the finished cupboard now. Ta-da! Um, so what I've done is, I've tried to keep all of the Magimix stuff in the same similar sort of place. So this is all the stuff to do with the Magimix. I've actually put the base at the bottom because it was in the top cupboard and it was actually really hard to get out. I used to have to get the step ladder out every time I needed to use it. And I do use it a lot, so I thought I'd put that there. And then we've got some jugs down here and some food storage jugs as well, which I thought might be nice if we make smoothies. And then in here are my Pampered Chef jugs and a box I'm not really sure what to do with, so I just thought I'd leave it in there. Then in this drawer I've got my baking trays. I thought this was a more sensible place to put them because it's underneath the oven, as you can see. So I put these in the bottom. And then I've got empty storage here for anything that we might get. And then I've got some glass bottles and storage jars 
that I'm going to use and then I've got some more storage jars here. I think I've got enough now. I did have loads in here. I'll show you the box in a minute, but I've cleared it all out now. I feel less cluttered. It's really amazing. And then I've got, I put the um, drinks that we sort of keep but don't really drink back in this cupboard. And then up here I've used Emily Norris's idea again. And I've basically put anything to do with the party and food storage bags as well. So that's there. And then in here I've just put anything sharp. I've got my tin foil because I think it's going to be easier to get out from up here. And I might also get some baskets for things like this and these things. I've got my hand blender, anything to do with cakes as well or breakable that Ted might get hold of. And anything sharp like my spiralizer is up here as well. And then in this cupboard I've kept the top shelf the same. We always keep our chopping boards under the kettle for some reason. It was the same in the old house as well. And then I've got the toasted cheese maker, which the boys love. And I've got my slow cooker in there as well. And then on the bottom shelf, I don't know if you saw, but I actually managed to get the bread machine in there. That was quite hard. Um, I've had to lay it on its side. It's quite a bulky machine. So anybody got any suggestions of what to do with that, that would be brilliant. Um, I've also got a teapot at the back there. Um, that is a thermos flask and I've got my pes pestle and mortar there's a yoghurt making machine which I'm, try I'm hoping to have a go at soon making my own yoghurt and then there is the jugs that I like to keep as well just had a tidy up of all the Tupperware boxes and I've put Tupperware boxes inside Tupperware boxes and I've also got things like lids for my Pampered Chef bowls up there as well. And then things for the ice lollies. That's a broken Tupperware box, so I thought it was quite good for the tops of the ice lollies. So you keep them all together. And then that's little drinks things that I've kept. They're good for babies. Somebody said try and get your child to drink out of a shot glass. So I thought I'd keep those hopefully for the next one. And then this is my this is a Tupperware box that I use. I've just put odds and sods in it. And then that's some more Tupperware boxes. So that's it. And I'll show you the red box full of the glass jars. So this is our red box, ready to go to recycling. Loads and loads of glass jars that I was keeping in there. And I'm so pleased to be rid of now. And I also had a tidy up of this drawer here as well. So I took these <coughs> from that cupboard and I put them in here. I thought it was a better place to store them. Um, it's easier to get to them as well. I've got my salad bowls and my mixing bowls. Then I've got some ice cube trays. I don't really know where to, oh, I don't really know where to store them. So I've just kept them in there. I'll just put that back up. Basically, I've kept these drawers the same. So, this is where we keep all our pots and pans. So, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. I think there is going to be a part three to this cleaning the kitchen. I've got a lot more stuff to clean out. Please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe below. And I hope to see you next time. Okay? Bye!